You probably recognize the name. He has three fragrances. But you may not know that for more than 30 years, Spanish-born designer Paco Rabanne has been a pioneer in pop fashion. He doesn't consider himself uh, a French designer. He considers himself a citizen of the world. So when you ask him, where do you come from? He says, I'm, I'm from the Earth. I'm from planet Earth. But his fashion philosophy is out of this world. It is very philosophical. At this moment, there are actually 7 billion people on the planet Earth. In several years, there will be 12 billion that live on the planet Earth. And there will not be any more natural materials. There won't be any more wool, there won't be any silk, and it will be necessary to reinvent new materials to make fashion. Paco pioneered the alternative use of materials, like using pliers and metals instead of needles, thread, and fabrics. We were in the year 1960. It was a new epoch, an age of technology, and therefore I made fashion that corresponded to the philosophy of that time, that age of discovery and of new technology, by using new materials on women, like metal, plastic, and paper, etc. Comme le métal, le plastique, le papier, etc. A man of many talents, he's costumed over 35 films, including Jane Fonda in Barbarella. Paco is also an author, a philosopher, and most of all a visionary, making heads turn since he opened his fashion house in 1966. Je me lève très tôt le matin. I get up very early in the morning, and I work a lot, as many as 14 hours a day, so I can do a lot of things. And I try, I am a curious man, I'm a very curious man, and this allows me to do many things. I have lots of time. Today we are here presenting the new venture of Paco Rabanne, the new Paco collection. The whole universe and includes ready-to-wear, eyewear, uh, luggage. The luggage collection is made of all in recyclable materials, cardboard and leather, and um, the package of the fragrance is an aluminum can, which is completely recyclable. Paco is unisex. Paco is for everyone. Paco is an architect by background, and uh, he has been working with all kinds of materials, and now he's very much into this mood of the recyclable things. Architecture gave me the essential things I dreamed of. But the freedom, well, for me, the freedom of creation is not there in architecture. And it is because of that that I like fashion so much, because I can do fashion that I dream of with complete freedom. It's truly a job with a little forecasting of ideas and translating of new materials. Those are the principal things. It's not dressing the woman. Yes, I dress them with the ready-to-wear, but certainly for my own work in haute couture, I'm opening the door for creation, to allow fashion to have all the freedom. That is what I do. My inspiration comes from the woman. A couturier is a makeup artist, a makeup artist for the body. We exist to allow a woman to express all the manifestations of her personality, to give her the possibility to express her personality. That is the art of a couturier, a makeup artist for the body.